Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole. So in today's video, I don't really know what we're going to get into, but first I want to start with a little haul. So this week was a lot of fun because it was spring break for my sister. So my family decided to get together on a Wednesday and go have some brunch and then go out shopping and hopefully find some new little vintage or thrift stores. And we surely did. We found a little diamond in the rough area that I've literally lived in this city my entire life and I never knew that these little shops existed. So it was so much fun to walk through each individual shop. They had so many vintage finds. It was so much fun. Also hanging out with my aunts, my mom, my sister. It was just all a lot of fun. We really enjoy getting together and going vintage shopping. So let me show you guys the things that I found while I was out with them. And then the following day, I still had the itch to go shopping. So I went to Savers and I will show you guys the little treasures that I found at Savers as well. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so let me start out with, like I said, the little shops that we visited with my aunt and my mom and my sister. So my sister actually bought me this beautiful Easter wreath right here. It is so cute, super rustic looking. I absolutely love it. I love the little dried looking flowers and the cute little pastel eggs on it. I love it and I am so excited to decorate with this. Up next, I have this super cute little spring tree right here. I absolutely loved this when I saw it. Look at the bottom, the base with the little bunnies on it. So cute, I was so excited to find this. So yes, another exciting treasure to decorate with. And next I have this really cute little utensil set right here that says yum on it. So cute, I can't wait to use this in my kitchen. As you guys know, I have the little shelf in my kitchen area. I'm actually looking at it right now. That's why I look that way. <laughs> but I'm gonna hang it on the little hooks that I have there. So yes, super, super adorable and excited to decorate with this. Up next, y'all, I was so, so, so excited to find these. Look at this right here, these beautiful bunnies. And then look at this one over here. So adorable, y'all. I absolutely love these. The second that I saw them, it was like, okay, I need to take two of these because they need to come home with me. And you know where they're gonna go? On the shelves back there. I thought they would be perfect on either side of my window back there here in the dining area. So we can add a little bit of spring flare in here because I don't really have anything spring going on besides those bunnies. I think you can see right there and I have one right over here, but they're not really gonna stay there. I just kind of put them there because I wanted to get an idea of what I was gonna do here in the dining area. So yes, I have those. And then of course, now we have these beautiful ones. So guys, I was really excited to find these because this whole store that had these bunnies in there, they had a bunch of like metal decor in there and it was so cute. I wanted absolutely everything in there. Um, but of course, like budget, I gotta think budget. <laughs> you know, it would have added up to a lot if I would have ended up getting everything that I wanted in there. But I think slowly but surely, I'll go back and collect one thing and another thing and another thing. But I was excited to find out that this stuff is actually from the brand, the Round Top Collection. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably can right there. Yeah, the Round Top Collection. And I was reading about it because they have their little information in here. And this is really cool. This is actually from Round Top, Texas. And it seems like it started out as a really small business. And this man, Jeff Krause, started selling his rustic creations at the town square of Round Top, Texas. So I thought that was super, super cool to find these. I've never seen anything round top collection before, but now that I have, I feel like my eyes are open and I will always be looking for round top collection because guys, if you guys think these are cute, I mean, look at the like metal detail on them. Everything was just as cute as these are. Like everything was, they had these super cute little uh, metal like dogs that you could decorate for the seasons. Oh my God, I need to go back and get one because I thought they were so adorable and I would love to have one in my entryway out on my porch area. So I want, I didn't get it yet because I wanted to see if I could find like different outfits for these dogs. So what they are is they're little metal dogs. I'll see if I can insert a picture. They're little metal dogs and then you could put like different holiday themed decor on their back and then a little hat on them as well. And they're all metal, so of course they can be outside. They were just so cute. So of course they had all of the Easter stuff and the doggy that I saw that I thought was super cute had little Easter eggs on his back and then he had like a little spring flower hat on his head. Oh my God, it was so adorable. 
I really need to go back and get it because now I know, I think there's a website for the round top collection and I think that they sell the outfits for the different seasons on there. So I think that I could, you know, change it out for the season. I would hope that this place that I went to continues to get more stuff in and they change out their stuff for the seasons because obviously I would love to go and buy it local. That way I don't have to order it and wait for it. Just get it and have it in my hands already. So we'll see. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably go back and buy it and then I'll just cross my fingers and hope that they end up getting stuff for the rest of the seasons. But yes, y'all, like I'll see if in the future I can go back to these little shops and kind of film for you guys because this was like dream come true little shops. Like walking in there was just like the other little shop that I had shown you guys a while back. Just your eyes have so much to look at and it just makes you so happy to look at everything. So yes, I can ramble on about these little shops forever. So let's move into my savers haul from the next day. All right, so first things first for the savers haul, as you can see right here, and I have one in my hand. Guys, I can't believe that I found these I don't know, I saw them and I just thought they were so cute and I even asked I even asked my husband like, are these cute or is it just me like getting a little bit, you know, too excited while I'm thrift shopping? But he also said they were really cute and I'm really excited that I found them because they're little like uh, canister cookie jars, I guess you could call them. And they're just so adorable. They're certified international and I got four of them guys. These four for $19.99, what a steal. I was so excited that I found them. So these, I'm thinking that I'm gonna decorate the top of my kitchen cabinets with these because after last year, or after Christmas, I should say, I didn't really decorate on top of my kitchen cabinets anymore. And to be honest, it's getting a little bit sad. And again, it's back there. That's why I keep looking over there. It's getting a little bit sad, like looking over there and not seeing any kind of decor. So I'm kind of getting my wheels turning because I don't, I don't feel like doing what I did last year again. Like I tried already. And it's just not there for me. I don't feel that vibe anymore, maybe. I'm kind of moving into something different. I think some things will probably stay that I used up there, but then other things I'm using in other places because I'm already using like the coffee canister or coffee carafe. I'm already using it on my coffee bar. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a little bit different looking when I get to it, the top of my kitchen cabinets this year. But I thought that these would be the perfect kind of addition to up there and then we'll kind of add more stuff to it. But I was just really excited to find these. Very, very excited to find these. Let me show you guys all of them. So here's this one, the little blue door, and they have numbers on them. So this one's number seven. So, so, so cute, guys. I absolutely love these. Look at the little tree. Okay, so this one has one tree on this side and then a little tree and a little shrub on this side. Windows. I was so excited to find these. I think this one's missing a little bird at the top, but hey, that's okay. I still love them. Let's see. All right, next we have this one. This is house number five. So it has the two little shrubs, a beautiful blue door. Oh my God, I'm in love with these. I think they're so cute. And then this one does have its little, one little birdie and the other one fell off. So I'll have to like glue it back on there, but so cute. Then we have the biggest one right here, house number three. Look at that with its two little birdies at the top. I love it. With little garden boxes on the side. So, so, so cute. I'm so excited that I found these. And there's a price, $19.99 for the four of them. What a steal. I'm telling you, when you go to Savers, sometimes you miss and you don't find anything or everything is like super overpriced. But other times you go and it's just like, I think to myself, maybe it's different managers or something like that working because I think some managers probably like look things up on eBay and see the prices on eBay and think, okay, I'm gonna charge that for this item. And then other ones probably like don't even think to look on eBay because I looked these up at least on Etsy, I looked them up and they were $100 for the four of them. So $20 was definitely a steal for them. And I just like to look it up more just to see like, did I actually find a steal or did I think that I found a steal? But for this case, I definitely did find a steal and I was excited about that. But yeah, like make sure that just, you can even look it up on eBay or on Etsy, whatever you wanna look it up to see the prices of things before you buy them because I'm telling you, a lot of times I feel like I go and things are just really like, they're the price that you would buy them at like a nice vintage boutique. 
And I'm not trying to be mean, but like people donate things to savers, you know, like they're not, in other words, those people could be making that money for themselves and savers is kind of taking advantage of the fact that they're getting things for free. I may be wrong and I may be just going off on a tangent about it. So sorry if you don't agree with me in that situation, but I definitely do feel like you just have to be a smart shopper when you go to savers or all thrift stores and kind of know what you're looking at before you buy it because you'll end up spending a lot of money if you think that everything that you're getting is a discount or a steal because it isn't always. So let's move in to the next things that I found at savers. All right, so next we have this little basket right here, I think it is. Probably could put a little candle, like a faux candle, of course, in it or something like that. So this one was a little bit pricey, a little bit pricey at $4.99, but that's okay because I figured it would look really cute. It's kind of substantial by itself, so it would look really cute, you know, with some books maybe by it and just with this by itself. And I feel like then it's a good deal if you see it as like its own little decor piece because you probably aren't gonna find a decor piece anywhere else that you go for like $4.99. So yes, this is really cute and I'm excited to decorate with it. I'm thinking in my living room we will decorate with this, but I have a big project that I wanna get done in the living room before I show you guys any kind of decorating in there. And I'm hoping that it's before Easter, but I don't really know that it will be because I wanted to decorate with this in my living room area for Easter and springtime, but it's a big project and I don't know that I will be able to get it done before Easter, so it might be later and we might have to bring that tree out next year but let's move into the next items. All right, up next we have these beautiful candle holders, y'all. I was so excited to find these. Look at them. Are they not just super beautiful? Look at that. They're already patinaed for me, which makes me really happy. So these were only $6.99 for two. See what I'm telling you? I feel like if I would have gone on another day, these, these would have been like $20 or something like that, which uh, no, I would not have bought them if they were that price. But for $6.99 for the both of them, yes, that's a steal. Oh, and then I forgot to tell you guys, when I went to check out, they were actually half off. I don't know how Savers sales work. I feel like every time I go, I never get anything on sale. It's not like Goodwill where they have like the, everything with the red tag is half off or whatever it may be. I don't feel like I've ever seen anything get a discount at Savers. Personally, maybe you guys have. I hope you have because that'd be amazing. But I was so excited. So these were actually half off of $6.99 for the both of them. So that was even a bigger steal than $6.99 for the both of them. So. Very excited that I found these. They're nice and heavy and they will be really, really cute to kind of go with our theme that we have thus far. All right, and next we have some more candle holders. These three right here, super cute weathered wood looking for a little, kind of like a votive candle, I guess it would be. So these were really cool, $7.99 for the three of them. So another really good deal, especially because these actually have the price on the bottom of them, of them still. I don't know what brand this is, Delight accents to write in your home. I don't know where that would be from, but if you can see, can you see? $15 each was the original price of these. So I felt like, okay, that's definitely a steal. They of course go with the theme that we got going on. And I felt like if I couldn't find any votive candles to go in there, maybe I could just pop this off and just use it even as a riser because it's super cute for that too. But then this morning, because I don't know about y'all, but sometimes when I'm excited about things, I literally can't sleep or I sleep or dream thinking about the next project that I'm going to do or thinking about how I can decorate with something that I bought. And this idea just struck me last night in the middle of the night. I could put some Easter eggs in these for right now. So let's actually see if the Easter eggs will fit in these just for, you know, for the springtime season. That way I can use them already. So let me get an Easter egg and let's see if it fits. All right, so it didn't work out as good as I thought. Maybe we need bigger eggs. Maybe I can find a bigger egg somewhere because it's a little bit loose in there and it looks kind of <laughs> it looks kind of funny. I don't know, maybe if we put like a little candle ring around it or something, it would look a little bit better. But okay, maybe my idea was definitely a dream sleep idea that was not super accurate. But anyways, you get the idea. If I had a bigger egg, or even just as a riser, like I said, these are very cute and I was very excited that I found them and especially for the price that I got them. All right, so next we're gonna get into some garden related things because I am getting the itch, y'all. I'm getting the itch to go out and start gardening and getting my backyard ready because the front yard is done now or the front entryway is done now as you guys saw in last week's video. 
Ugh, planting just makes me so happy and to see the colors just just literally fills my heart with joy so yes i am excited to get into the backyard and we still have an area in the front that i need to work on i just didn't get to it last week because the wind was just crazy last week and then funny enough what day was it um well earlier this week was it earlier this week or the end of last week i don't really remember the exact dates but anyways it got really cold again and I guess we had a cold front come through and it was very, very cold again. And to be honest, I was kind of nervous for my plants in the front. Uh, people on our local gardening page were talking about, on Facebook, our local gardening page, were talking about the Farmer's Almanac saying not to plant until March 23rd and after. And I didn't really believe it. I thought, is the Farmer's Almanac still accurate in this day and age? Who knows? But apparently it was because, yeah, that's what it was. So the 23rd, was actually the last, that's the day it started warming up again. Before that, it got really, really cold, almost to freezing temperatures at night. I was very scared for my little plants in the front. I thought they were gonna just fry to death in the freezing cold, or I guess freeze to death, not fry. But you know how they look when they freeze? They look almost like they're fried or something. They look very, very sad. So yeah, I thought that was gonna happen, but it didn't actually end up happening, thank God. So now i am excited to decorate the rest of my front porch area i'll show you guys a little snippet of what i'm talking about i want to do a water feature up there and i want to plant some more flowers up there so yes that'll probably be something that i get into this weekend and maybe next week and hopefully i can share it with you all but let me move into why i brought all of this up i have the itch and i love finding things that are thrifted and used and already have some patina to them to use in the garden because I just feel like they just add a little bit of extra whimsy to a garden. So let me show you guys these. I got two of these right here to hold candles. This one, as you can tell, already had a candle in it. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt to take that wax out. I hate removing wax from things, but yes, anyways, I had to get both of them because of course they go together and then they'll look really cute side by side. But what I was thinking, and maybe I'll show you guys kind of an idea of what I was thinking, is to put this, I have a big round terracotta pot, to put this in the middle of the terracotta pot with a faux candle in it, of course, and hopefully a timer candle, that way it goes off every night, that would be so cute, with some beautiful white flowers, some alyssum, I think it's called alyssum, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. I'm thinking about what it's called and I think it's alyssum. I have some growing in the backyard that actually just came kind of out of nowhere. It ended up being seeds, I guess, that were left over from last year's wildflowers. So I'm gonna take it out from the backyard. Hopefully I can transplant it into a big terracotta pot that I have and just have it kind of overflowing. Oh my gosh, I think that's gonna look so romantic and beautiful. So yes, I was excited to find this. And then of course it's friend. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with yet, but I'll probably have it up there somewhere that way it kind of the theme goes all together. So yeah, these were each $5.99. So again, a little bit pricey, but at the same time, I feel like I don't know where I would find something like this. The glass is like actually really thick and nice and kind of cloudy, and I like that about it. So yes, I don't know where I would find these, and I probably would find them for about the same price, if not a little bit more, but it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I just kind of want to do it now, so I'm glad I found them there. <laughs> all right, and last but not least, I think that's all that I have. Oh, I have one more thing after this, but this also I found for the garden and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It has this, I don't know why it doesn't hang straight though. Oh, I think it's stuck. Yeah, there you go. So this beautiful little tea light or tea candle holder that you can hang off of something. I feel like it would look really cute. Just, I don't really know where yet in the garden. I'm not sure if I would use it in the front or the back yet, but regardless, it's very unique looking, I felt like, and the price was $7.99. So last year when I was decorating my backyard garden area, I was looking for like really unique things like this to hang off of our tree back there and stuff. And garden stuff is very expensive, y'all. Like I was very surprised at the prices of gardening things on Amazon at least. So I felt like $7.99 is probably the price that I would get this for or a little bit more expensive maybe, but regardless, this already has its you know wear and tear to it and that's what I really like because when you buy new things, they're a little bit shinier and stuff and I don't like that for the garden. I feel like in the garden, I want it to look like it's already been there for years, especially because I want my garden to look very whimsical and very like charming. One of those gardens that you can kind of get lost in. So 
yeah, I like to buy used things for it, of course, in that case. And $7.99, super, super, super cute hanging lantern. All right, the last thing that I wanna show you guys is not for the season that we're in at all, actually it's a whole year away, is <laughs> this enamelware pot. But y'all, I couldn't not leave it because look at this handle. That is just like the cutest handle I've ever seen on a pot. And I love its little wear and patina on it. And this was only $5.99. I feel like sometimes, well, first off, I never find enamelware stuff at my thrift stores. Um, and second off, I feel like when I do, it's rare, but it's expensive, like very expensive. Like something that's like, okay, I don't know that I really want it for that price. But for $5.99, I felt like this was a really good deal because this would be really cute at Christmas time with a little tree in it or even with some little berries coming out of it, some greenery coming out of it. I don't know, but I felt like it would be really, really cute for a decor piece for Christmas time. And I'm kind of opposed to buying things for Christmas when it's like March, like it is right now, only because now I know I have to go through my Christmas boxes and find somewhere to store this. And it's just like a pain in the butt. But I don't know why my savers is bringing all of the Christmas stuff out right now. Oh, probably because people are donating the Christmas stuff right now. I guess that's probably why, but I felt like other years they don't bring Christmas stuff out, I guess even if people donate it, until Christmas time is coming around again. And this year, for some reason, there's like two whole aisles of Christmas stuff, and I'm having the hardest time, y'all, not going and looking through all of it because, well, why wouldn't I, you know? Like, I want to look through there, but it's like, oh my God, it's just the struggle of knowing if I find something that I really love, I'm gonna wanna take it and then I'm gonna have to go through all of my Christmas boxes, which I think most of them are pretty full at this point and find more storage for them. If not, buy a whole new storage container for Christmas stuff. And hmm, I don't know, I, like, it's just one of those things that I don't know if I'm into that or I don't know if like, it just, it's, it's a lot to think about, you know? It's a lot to think about to think, ooh, do I really wanna go into the storage unit, find the Christmas boxes, look through the Christmas boxes, seeing if I have room in there for more stuff or would I rather just wait till next year? But then every time Christmas comes around again, I think to myself, man, I wish I would have like shopped Christmas the entire season through. That way I could find more vintage things, I could find more unique things, things like that. So it's just the constant struggle, you know, the constant struggle of should I actually shop or should I not shop? I don't know, but anyways, regardless, I am very happy with all of my finds this time around. And it was a short haul, but I'm a very chatty person this morning. Apparently my coffee really did its job this morning. So I'm very, very chatty. <laughs> and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I actually think that this might be the entire video at this point, because I think it's already a good like 20 minutes long. So I was gonna see if I would get into some decorating, but um, I think this might be a good video for this week. Um, if I do get into decorating, I'll either add it at the end of this video or I'll add it in next week's video. So with that being said, I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm.